and welcome to your 25 minute workout guys. We are going to begin in a child's pose. So take those knees wide on the mat. Toes will tap back behind you. Sink your hips towards your heels as you send your fingertips long towards the front end of your mat. And as you turn the forehead from side to side, maybe even the hips sway from side to side, just kind of getting a little idea of how you're feeling for the body this morning. Your inhales and exhales may get a little longer as you start to feel that connection with your breath. Fantastic. We're going to rock on up to our hands and take a few rounds of cat-cow. So with the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees, drop your belly, lift your gaze, take a big breath in, and then press into your palms as you exhale, feel your upper back dome towards the ceiling. And then just wash that through your spine a few times, seeing how you feel through each vertebra. Maybe there's a little sticking point and feel free to take a little bit of extra time where you need it. We'll offer up some circles through the hips, getting more into the side body, outer hips, as we take a clockwise motion through the hips, bringing a little more weight into the hands as we warm up through the shoulders as well. And then swap directions through your circles. Feel free to get nice and exaggerated. See how you feel through the back body. Nice, we'll come into a little bit of a hip flexor stretch by stepping that right foot through towards the top of the mat. Come up onto your fingertips and sneak that left knee back behind you and crawl on up into that right thigh as you weight down through the hips a little. You may feel that nice stretch through the top of that left thigh. Nice. And then keeping your right hand on your hip, you're just gonna reach your left arm up and over and get even more length along that left side waist and more weight floods into the front foot. Ooh, yeah, nice. We'll unwind our little side bend here and come into a hamstring stretch, fingertips again, supporting that length through the right leg and you can point and flex through that right foot. We'll stretch through the calf, through the Achilles here. And then we'll swap out the legs. So it'll be the left foot that we bring forward just mindful that one side may give you a little more room than the other. See how you go. When we climb up onto that left thigh as the weight fl floods forward, the knee is stacked over that front left heel, and it's that juicy hip opener through the right side. Left arm sweeps up and over as you bend to that left side of your mat and getting a nice yawning sensation through those right ribs. Yeah, that's it, nice. Again, we'll bring the hands down, framing that left foot, left leg, and point and flex as you get a little more juice into that left leg. Maybe feel it through the hamstring. That's it. Nice work, you guys. And then we'll take a child's pose again and just see if there's a little more ease through the hips before we move into our planks. Nice work, everyone. We're going to start with our planks in this format of our, actually, you know what, let's lie on our backs first. I feel like I need a little lower back stretch. Bring those knees in towards the chest. Who are we kidding? It feels really nice. Rock from side to side. And we'll get into those outer hips a little. Take those knees towards the armpits, coming into a little happy baby here. Again, just rocking from side to side might feel kind of nice. And then we'll send our arms overhead, our legs out long, get a full length through the body, reaching through those toes, through those fingertips. We'll bend up through the knees, take the feet nice and wide and get a little twisting action through the spine as you roll across the glutes. Any last little movement that you think you need to do before we come into our planks here, we're gonna start on that right side. So it's either the hand or the forearm. You decide where you want that shoulder placement to be, but make sure it's stacked and you're not dumping into that right shoulder. Left foot's gonna come in front. We'll stay stationary th through that right side lifting and then we'll bring hand behind the ear and do a little scoop under with the bent elbow. So let us begin on our planks. Here we go, left arm, send it high. So there's that vertical reach and it helps even lift that left waist higher. So we're firming up through the right side of waist. You can always drop on down to that right side knee if that gives you a little support. 
but find the heels, hips, and shoulders in one line. So that's linear shape really makes that right side waist work for us. Yeah, nice lifting everyone, so good. So we're at the halfway mark. We're gonna bring our fingertips behind our ear and with this little short lever of the elbow scooping under, does it mean that you feel like you're bringing your left hip too far forward? Can you keep it lifted? Yeah, really nice. That's it, Jeannie, you got it. Again, pressing down away from that right shoulder. No collapsing there. And keep those hips nice and lifted. And we've got this for another three. Last two. And last one. Well done through that right side shoulder. Right side oblique. We are gonna come onto our bellies for our back extension work. We'll take penguins this morning. So we're gonna bring our knees wide on the mat. The heels tap behind you. You lift your thighs, you lift your chest. And for 30 seconds, you're reaching as far as you can manage down your legs. While lifting that front body away from the mat, firing up through those extensors. They support the spine. And we get a little added bonus of oblique work, taking it from side to side. Nice paddling, or what do penguins do? Waddling, yeah, nice work. Last three, two, one. We'll sink those hips back towards the heels, lengthen through the fingertips, rinse this out with a child's pose. One minute forearm plank hold. Set up your feet, come on down to your forearms, and clock is on, here we go. The energy starts from the feet, so press those heels away. Firm up through your quads, cinch through your waist, press into your forearms and soften through your jaw. The work is really in our center, but the legs certainly help Keep us nice and solid and keep us from those hips drooping or being too high. Yeah, it looks really good, you guys. You can always modify and come on down to your knees if you want that support. Draw your navel towards your spine. Bottom ribs towards those hip points, so good. We are in our final 10 seconds. It just goes like a flash. Press those heels away, keep that breath moving. Last three seconds, two, and one. Come on down, really nice work. Finding our way once again into those waddling penguins. So those thighs are lifted. Can you get a little more room between your legs and the mat? Maybe a little further reach along the legs as you get that Side body strengthening. Yeah, that's it, bro, nice. Shoulder blades drawing away from, or the shoulders drawing away from the ears really help open up through the collarbone here. Last three, two, one. Come on to our child's pose. Again, just a nice little lengthening through the spine after that work. Finishing up our planks with the left side down. So hand or forearm, you decide. Right foot, stack it in front. 30 seconds to stay lifted and then we'll add that little elbow scoop. Just check your alignment here. Maybe even feel how strong you're getting along that left side waist to send the hips up towards the ceiling. That's it, Greg, so good. Just check your shoulder health. Press down to lift away, so no collapse there. Nice work. We'll take that little elbow movement, so scooping down and then up. You may find a nice little rotation through the thoracic spine, so keeping the hips lifted while getting that added twisting. Yeah, it looks so smooth. That's it. Nice, Phil. Again, left knee down if you need that added support, take it. We'll finish our planks. Let's go for another three, two, one. Come on down. Fantastic work, guys. That was really good. So in this format, we have our abs coming up now for just two rounds. 
and we do 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Our first ones are going to be a little heel tap sit up, but it's a full sit up. So arms are overhead, and as you crunch up, you aim to tap your heels with your hands, lower back down, and then swap out the legs. So you're just reaching for your heels as you bend the knee towards the chest. We'll get more oblique work in our jackknives. So we're gonna come out on our right side to begin with. Right arm is perpendicular to your mat. And then you're just bringing your knees towards your chest. Actually, let's bring our hand behind our head again and draw the knees towards the elbow. You could make it a little more challenging and bring your feet out long, tap your toes. And so you're coming up onto that right elbow. Very little weight in that right elbow. Let the left side work. And then we'll swap out our third for the other side and then hip lifts. Arms are alongside the torso, legs are up towards the ceiling. You press into your forearms and you get a little reverse crunch with the legs straight. And it's a nice exhale to lift you and a very slow controlled lower to lower you back down to the mat. So again, 30 seconds, you get plenty of time to get as many reps in or as few. Let us begin. Heel sit-ups, heel tap sit-ups. Here we go. So that exhale is lifting you up. There is a little weight as you press into that opposite leg that's not lifting. Try not to rely on that too much. It's just lightly supporting. But so strong through the exhale. Yeah, that's it. Fantastic, Nicole, you got it. Stay with that exhale. Slow, controlled, lower. Oh. Oh. Change. We're coming onto our right side. You're on your right outer hip. You make a check mark through the body. Right arm out long, left hand behind the head. Lots of components here. And then you lightly press into that forearm to lift, but try and rely on that left side body strength to get your jackknife shape. And if you want to sauce things up, you could straighten the legs. You could even alternate bent knee and straight leg. Make it jazzy, make it fun. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Fantastic, Lockie, you got it. Ooh. Change. Come on to that outer left hip. Make that little check mark through the body. Left arm out long, right hand behind the head. And here we go, we cinch up through that right side waist. You can actually see the work if you take a little peek down. Yeah. And again, very little weight in that hand that's supporting your lift. Yeah, Greg, fantastic. Maybe you try the straight legs on this side, maybe you just stay with bent knees. Nice pacing, that's it. Ooh. Three, two, one change. We're going for hip lifts now. So I want those hips to lift. The arms are there for support. Legs on up towards the ceiling. Use the exhale to get that lift. And then that low, slow lower with the inhale. So there is a lot of force moving our entire torso legs up towards the ceiling. Try not to wear it through the neck, through the shoulders, but keep the work towards the for the abdominals. Yeah, that's it. Stay with that exhale. Three, two, one. Change. Nice work. We are going back to the top for one more round of these. Our heel tap sit-ups. Alternating legs. Here we go. Stay with that work through the exhale and that slow control to lower you down on the inhale. That's it. Nice work, you guys. Three, two, one. Change. Does sometimes 30 seconds feel like forever? <laughs> right side down. We're in our check mark. We're taking our little jackknives. Here we go. Again, have a little play with how it feels to lengthen your levers if you're taking straight legs. 
but try and keep those legs together. It's a lot easier to lift one solid piece than two separate. Yeah, that looks awesome, you guys. Again, very little lift by pressing down. You can think about that left side work for you. Change. Come on to that left side. Left arm out perpendicularly. Here we go. Yeah, that's a nice. So you're getting super compact through that right side, firing up that right side waist. Yeah, that's it, Nicole, you got it. Stay with it. Barely lowering back down, that's how much you're working. Ooh, yeah. Three, two, one. We got it. Ooh. Finishing up our ab work with our hip lifts. Think about that nice slow descent and that powerful lift to send those hips high, maybe the legs even higher. And again, just that resistance of collapsing back down. You may want to even see how slowly you can come back down. Yeah, Greg, nice. Again, try and take that tension out of the neck, the shoulders, the jaw. Change. All right, we are finished with our abs. We have two minutes of hip lifts here just to get our glutes activated. We're gonna bring our feet hips distance apart. We're gonna be lifted on our tippy toes, folks. If I can just demonstrate, we're gonna lift our hips high towards the ceiling, squeezing. While you stay lifted, you wing your knees out. That's why it's very important your heels stay lifted. You wing your knees back into parallel, you lower to a hover. So two or one minute of that, and then we'll pulse it out for our second minute. So lots of elements here. Exhale at the top of the lift, take the knees wide, come back to parallel, and then lower to a hover. If you need to walk your feet in a little more to find that maximum height through the hips, you are switched on even as you lower with, especially with those heels lifted, there's a little more active engagement through the backs of the legs. But those glute meads, those outer hips are firing to send the knees wide. And those adductors are also being recruited to bring the knees back to parallel. Nice work, nice control. Your glutes without squeezing through your jaw, through your face. High on those tippy toes, don't deny yourself that. And we'll take these, we've got another three. Ooh. Two. And one, stay nice and lifted on your tippy toes. Sneak those feet in a little and stay with the lift and keep lifting. Go double time in your pace. So everything is firing up. Maybe you even need a little check-in by tapping through the glutes. Send the tailbone long. Knees are stacked over those heels. Very little drop through the glutes, guys. Keep them fired up. Oh yeah. The breath is helping support that abdominal strength to keep your healthy lower back. And you are yawning open through those hip flexors. Keep going. Soften through the jaw, pulsing it up. So try not to drop. Yes, Greg, that's awesome. A little higher in the hips for some of you. Ooh, it's easy to want to collapse. We're in the final stretch here. We'll go for five, four, three, two, one. Well done. <laughs> Lower it down. Hug those knees in towards the chest. Rock from side to side. I'll walk us through our set of squats, upper body balance, and then we'll sprinkle some mountain climbers and wide-legged burpees to finish up this last portion of our class. Let me get the timer going. So we are doing, again, our 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. For our set of squats this morning, we're doing basically a jumping jack squat, but low impact. So you come through your squat, knees are parallel, they can even be a little wider than your hips. 
and arms overhead like you're taking a little jumping jack, you go wide with your squat, return through the center. Those are our squats to be, uh, for this morning. Toe tap press ups. You can do straight up press ups, but I'm offering up a little challenge of tapping toe outside the mat, and you add the press up where you like. We'll come into chair sweeps for our balance work. We'll sit down low. We'll bring first leg, it'll be right leg out. We sweep it back behind and we sweep it forward. And then we'll catch the left side and then swap out for our third round. Mountain climbers will be our first round and then two rounds of wide-legged burpees. Jumping jack squats to begin. Come on down low. You've got 30 seconds to perfect these. Feel the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads. Here we go. The arms overhead also bring a little bit of elevated heart rate as you bring your arms above the head. But try not to deny yourself the depth through the squat as you bring those arms overhead. Yeah, that's it. Looks really good, you guys. Stay with your breath. Stay with that depth through the squat. Tailbone dropping, chest lifting. <laughs> Change. Toe tap press ups. You can always do these from your knees for the press up. Find your plank. Here we go. So try and keep the movement through the hips to a minimum as you tap out. So relying on that leg strength, certainly that belly strength as you lift and lower and building our upper body strength. Again, pace yourself for what you can manage for 30. Change. So we're coming down in a low chair, i.e. squat, and we just draw a little half circle with that right leg. Left leg is first supporting us in our chair sweeps. Might have to move away from the wall. So feel the balance that needs to come along that left side leg. And we're challenging it by bringing that right leg out away from our center. Maybe pointing through the toes to find that true sweeping action. Yeah, it looks really good, that's it. Three, two, one, change. Ooh, left side leg working. Let's get our mountain climbers going. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Here we go. So those shoulders are stacked over the wrists, keeping your hips honest. You're light through your toes as you get your pace on. Tap into that breath to help you sustain 30 seconds. You got it. Nice work, you guys. Keep going. Whew. Back to the top, just two more rounds of these. We'll take our squats and jumping jacks. Deep in your breath. Here we go. Nice, so really feeling those legs support the lowering and the reaching. Yeah, that's it, nice, Nicole, you got it. Deny yourself the death in the squats. Three, two, one, change. Toe tap press ups. We got this. Here we go. Tap it on out. If you want to skip the press ups and just toe tap through your plank, there's a lot of upper body strength to be developed there. And it's up to you. Sprinkle through that press up where you want. <laughs> yeah, Lockie, fantastic. You got it. Three, two, one. Change. We're finding our chair sweeps. It'll be the left leg that makes that 180. Come low on that right side. 
nice and smooth through your arcing shape. Finding that point of balance. And as you take that left leg away from your body and then back in, can you stay nice and secure through that right side hip so it doesn't bump out too much? Yeah, so the knee is tracked over the toes. Hip in line with the knee. That's it, Phil, nice focus. Oh, man. Round. Let's do wide-legged burpees this round. Jump them back, walk them back, you decide. Again, pace yourself so you can do the whole 30 seconds with great energy. Whew. Lightly landing, that's how connected you are to your core. Keep going, yeah. That's a genie, so good. Nice traveling, everyone. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Change. One more round. Finishing up, jumping jack squats. Catch your breath in your low squat. We got this. Here we go. Maybe you slow this round down to get even more depth. Oh. Tailbone dropping, chest lifting. Find that breath, supporting this leg work. Yeah, fantastic, you guys. Three, two, one, change. Last round of our toe tap press ups. You thought I was going to change it up. Nope, we're going back. <laughs> I might regret this. Again, modify where you need to. Quicken your pace if you got a little more juice to give. Yeah, that's it. Nice. <laughs> Fantastic, bro. You got it. Stay strong. Wow, change. For our chair sweeps, we've got to alternate our legs since our third round. Stay low in your chair the whole time. How does the transition from one leg to the other support that balance work? Maybe a little clearer to see which side is a little more stable. What? I think it's my right side, I don't know. <laughs> Don't deny yourself the depth in your chair. A little lower for some of you. <sighs> nice work. That's it, Jeannie. So good. Change. Wide legged burpees. Let's get that cardio blast, guys. That endorphin rush, right? Here we go. 30 seconds. Make it work for you. How softly can you land? How connected to your center can you be? How quickly can you travel? Yeah, that's awesome, Greg. You've got it. Nice, Lockie. Keep going. Woo! Finishing so strong. That's so good. Three, two, one. Change. You guys. That was so good. Thank you so much.